What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ty Lo. If you haven't already seen my Instagram skits, be sure to check those out at Ty Lo Jump. Do it! Just do it! But since you're here for the One Piece laughs, be sure to stick around. In this video, we're gonna try something new. We're actually gonna do a comparison of current events in the real world compared to events in the One Piece world. So, today we're gonna talk about the coronavirus and compare it to the H2S or the hydrogen sulfide that Caesar Clown had in his poison, in his toxins. So, here we go. If you feel I missed anything or you think there's some other points that need to be brought up, let's bring them up in the comments below and let's talk about it all. Caesar Clown's hydrogen sulfide was made in a laboratory. What I've been reading, a lot of conspiracy theories and people believe that the coronavirus was also made in a laboratory. And I'm sure whoever created it was a top scientist just like Caesar Clown. There's a lot of money involved in H2S. Remember, Caesar Clown made a lot of money selling this to other people and selling other things to people, right? Now the other thing is this. The coronavirus, people believe that the coronavirus was used to mess up the Chinese economy. Because if you look, trips to Hong Kong from where, where I am in, in New Jersey, New York area, were $1,300 round trip. Now they're $193 round trip. That's a big drop just in that one thing alone. I'm sure there are other things, but think about the traveling to there. Like People aren't going to be traveling there as frequently because of the disease. So now that makes a lot of things cheaper, which means the economy benefits a lot less. Caesar Clowns virus was actually able to cause a lot of destruction. So we saw it destroy Punk Hazard, and we also saw the devastation it did to Zao. Okay, Bill Gates, one of the richest men in the world, he was the richest man a few times, and you know, he fluctuates. Him and Warren Buffett keep going back and forth, and uh, basically predicted that something will happen in Africa, right? So he's predicting that this disease, coronavirus, will get to Africa. But conspiracy theorists believe that he's only trying to help prevent the virus from getting there so he can stake a claim in Africa. Now, if he does this, this means he'll be able to grasp onto Africa's natural resources. Now, this is something that's very commonly seen in a lot of different places throughout history where someone comes in as the savior, but their real goal is only to take the resources. If we look at it through the One Piece view of the world, we saw where Trafalgar Law was born. Where he was born, people used that place for their natural resources, but then turned their backs on them and shut them out from the rest of the world because of the disease. Instead of trying to help them cure themselves of the disease, they quarantined those people. One thing these two uh, viruses have in common is that they can wipe out an entire civilization if left untreated. Right now, they're working on a way to figure out how to fight the coronavirus. Oh, another key thing is people believe that the coronavirus is used to help with population control. If you think about it, the place that would technically need the most help with population control would be China. They have like over a billion people there. So their uh, country would be considered overpopulated if you went by per square mile, person per square mile and how much space a person is supposed to have to be able to breathe comfortably. So that's another thing that people bring up and something to think about. Caesar Clown's first attempt on Punk Hazard, his first attempt at creating a virus, didn't kill people fast enough, right? So some of the people were able to get away, some of the people were able to stay alive. That made him go back to the drawing board. What we see with coronavirus is coronavirus is a type of I think it's in the same family as SARS, or SARS is the earlier version of the virus. So whoever made SARS, it didn't kill enough people, and now they're going back to the drawing board, and now we have the coronavirus. I don't know if this is true, but it's just some things that, you know, seem to add up. But it was, it was in the South China morning news, they said that the coronavirus is technically milder than SARS. I don't know if this is true or not, because it's actually killing a lot more people than SARS did at a, at a higher rate. My big question was, how can it be milder than another disease if they both cause death? I guess it's the side effects that you feel determine if it's milder than the other disease or not. So 
okay, maybe this disease you just get a fever. Maybe the next disease you get a fever and you're coughing and you're coughing out blood and you're in constant pain all over your body. I guess that will be worse than just dying without any consequences or any pain. So the coronavirus is much like the amber lead poisoning from Laws Island. Basically, it's causing mass hysteria. People are starting to treat people of Chinese descent differently because they think that if that person coughs, they have coronavirus and that's not necessarily true. Just because someone coughs doesn't mean they have a virus. Like for example, there was a man in Chinatown a few days ago who actually didn't, no one gave him CPR because he had a heart attack. No one gave him CPR because they were afraid they were gonna get the coronavirus. And this man didn't even have the coronavirus. So little things like that, that reminds me of like, uh, Fishman Island where people weren't giving blood transfusions because of race. Um, you can't just let the race of a person dictate how you treat them. You should treat somebody based off their actions, much like we learned on Fishman Island. Like You should treat, they wanted to teach the kids based off of their relationship to humans, not based off something you heard. For now, I haven't come in contact with anyone that has had the coronavirus, so I'm not going to treat everyone who may look like the stereotypical person that has the coronavirus with disrespect or backing all off of them. You know what I mean? I might wear me a little mask or something to keep myself safe from those who may have it that I don't know. And um, But we don't even know how it's transmitted yet. So that's another thing to keep in mind. You can't just treat people crazy and you don't even know the facts. A lot of people are afraid of other people because of things they don't know. And that's what's what causes racism, stereotypes, and also things you think you know but you don't know. You're just going off what somebody else told you. Now, that uh, incident in Chinatown was in America, but in other countries, people aren't even serving Chinese people. It sounds like how the Fishman Pirates weren't allowed to go into that amusement park on Zavodi because of who they were. They're, they're not treating people. This is happening even in Japan. They're not treating Chinese people. They're not serving Chinese people in their restaurants. They have signs that say you can't come in there if you're Chinese. So the coronavirus spreads human to human. It can be spread even if you don't have the symptoms. So you could have the coronavirus right now, not know it, and spread it to other people. And they won't know it because we don't even know how long the incubation time is to decide if you have the disease or not. They say that we all had it before because 30% of what the corona, coronavirus is causes common colds, so it's a usual thing. We don't know a lot about it yet, but it's being tested in laboratories all everywhere and people are trying to figure it out. Even Caesar Clown didn't know that his H2S virus took 48 hours before it was fatal. You know what I mean? So now we need to figure out about this coronavirus. How long does it take before it's fatal? How long do we have before we can save these people? The people in Wuhan are being told not to leave their homes, but also being told not to leave the city at all because they don't want the thing to spread. It's much like Laws, Laws Town, where these people weren't allowed to leave because the neighboring countries just didn't want to deal with this issue. So they're just like, yo, keep your people, keep everybody that's there, there till we figure this thing out. Major difference between H2S and coronavirus though is coronavirus spreads people to people and H2S just spreads through the air. So if it's in the air, you can get it by breathing it in. Scientists are working extremely hard to find a vaccine for the virus. I just, so, I just hope it doesn't come with any other symptoms or gives you any other disease. We need someone like Chopper uh, to come and save us, right? Like he did Punk Hazard and Zao. Like he came in with a little vaccination, you know, and saved the world. That's what we need, right? The Indian Ministry for Traditional Medicines was actually uh, received a lot of backlash for saying that you might be able to defeat the coronavirus just with some natural remedies. Now, the reason a lot of people get backlash anytime they say anything about natural remedies is because the big pharmaceutical companies want you to buy from them, you know, buy from them and then you end up getting some other disease or some other symptoms that you need to turn around and spend more money on and it's a vicious cycle. They do this because they want to make money off of you. Right, so that's why they don't want you using natural remedies that you can find around your house, that you can grow in your backyard, because they want to make money off of you. It's much like what happened in Laws Town. There was, the rich got richer and the poor got sicker. It's very, very sad, it's a vicious cycle. Enough about that. I know y'all came to Wino Piece because you want some more of One Piece. 
So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you get notified. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this one right here. Uh, put it in the comments like Fishman Island versus Civil Rights. We'll do more videos like that where we compare One Piece to the world around us. Yeah, always remember, you're the hero of your own story. So let's become Pirate Kings together. Thanks for watching this one. Peace.